So now we will define what is meant by the index of a subgroup in G. So we am writing the definition now. So let H be a subgroup of G. G is a group. Then the index of H in G is defined as number of left cosets or right cosets of H in G. So I'm going to take a group and I'm going to take a subgroup H. I'm going to write the cosets. I'm going to count the cosets and number of cosets is called as index. Okay, and it is denoted by what? I'm going to denote it by the symbol G colon H. I'm going to denote it by G colon H. Okay, so from the Lagrange's theorem, what we have seen is that if order of g is n order of h is m and if number of cosets is k then we have a relation between n m and k what was that relation in that lecture we have covered we have proved that n is equal to how much m into k this means that k is equal to n upon m and what is k? k is number of cosets which is index which is g colon h is equal to order of g upon m is order of h. So if the group is a finite group then we can use this formula. This formula is used when if g is if g is finite if the group is infinite okay then we have not uh, we are not going to use this formula okay so does it mean that if the group is infinite then the number of cosets is also infinite that is not true okay so we will take a problem immediately so that uh, even if the group is infinite the number of cos the number of cosets or the index can be what index can be a finite group so let us take one example here now. So I will take a G, which is, uh, let me take G is equal to S3, which is a finite group with respect to the composition operation. And let me take H is equal to a subgroup, which is row naught, row one and row two. Okay. And we just are interested in finding the index of H in G, which is denoted by G colon H. We are going to find the index. So it is clear from the above formula, the index of H. Sorry. To the square bracket. So the index formula says that it is equal to order of G divided by order of H because the group you are given is, is a finite group. So order of G, the order of S3 is 6 and order of H is 3. So you will get the index is equal to how much? Index is 2. Okay. If you actually find the cosets of this particular subgroup, you will observe that the diagram will be uh, will be S3, which will have row naught, row 1 and row 2. And the second coset will contain mu1, mu2 and mu3. Okay, so you will get only two cosets. Now, uh, this subgroup is such a special subgroup that if you calculate the left coset of this subgroup, it will be equal to the right coset again. Usually in a non-abelian group, a left coset need not be equal to the right coset. Okay, so but, but this subgroup has a speciality that the left coset equals the 
right cosets and such subgroups later on will be called as what they will be called as normal subgroups in my upcoming lectures we will cover this subgroups we take the group g equal to the set of integers with respect to the addition operation and h i am going to take subgroup we know that the subgroups of z are nz type so there are infinite subgroups of this group i will suppose i will take 4z as a subgroup and here order of g is infinite order of h is also infinite they have infinite many elements so i cannot use the above formula because the above formula is true only for finite groups so now i have to sit and find the cosets so we know that if you actually try to find the cosets of this thing is here i will say h is equal to 4z the second coset that i will get from this will be h1 let me say this h2 it will become we'll have 4z plus 1 now i'm try writing the right coset uh, the left coset and right coset are same because the group is what because the group is what the group is abelian so i i if i just calculate left coset it's enough because left coset will be the same as right coset this is the second coset the third coset will be 4z plus 2 and the next coset will be h4 equal to how much 4z plus 3 so we got how many cosets we got four cosets okay so here you observe that order of g is infinite order of h is also infinite both are of infinite order but uh, what is the index of the subgroup h in g the index z 4z is how much it is equal to four because you have how many cosets you got four cosets okay so even if the group is infinite and the subgroup is infinite the index can turn out to be what it can turn out to be a finite number